GS UASA are the world's number one battery manufacturer for industrial, automotive and motorcycle applications, with a global turnover in excess of $3 billion and over 12,000 employees engaged in manufacturing, sales and distribution on five continents. Our batteries are the preferred choice of vehicle and motorcycle manufacturers worldwide and are fitted as OEM parts to the majority of marks. Please observe the safety precautions when working with batteries. Always work in a well-ventilated area and make sure there are no sparks or naked flames. Always wear appropriate eye protection, gloves and clothing. Clean up any acid or electrolyte spills immediately and in the event that electrolyte may come into contact with eyes or skin, flush the area with water and seek medical attention immediately. A detailed list of safety precautions can be found in the UASA Technical Manual. Every new battery requires charging to reach maximum operational capacity. Using the proper charger is essential to the battery activation process. Several types of battery chargers are available. Constant current and charger maintainer types are recommended for battery activation. These chargers are professional quality and generally offer faster and more precise control of the charging process. Follow the instructions on the battery or use the equivalent charging options where constant charging is not available. Other types, such as trickle and taper chargers, are best used as maintenance chargers and are also suitable for domestic use. Always consult the instructions included with the charger for proper operating procedures. Be sure the charger meets the needs of the battery you're charging. Sealed type batteries require a higher voltage charger than conventional types. Proper charging is essential to ensure maximum operational capacity and longevity of a new battery. It also helps prevent electrolyte leaks that may damage a vehicle. Failure to follow the proper activation procedures not only leads to premature battery failure, but also voids the warranty. As the procedures used to charge each type of battery are different, always check which type of battery you're dealing with before you begin. To charge a conventional battery, place it on a level surface, then remove the filler caps, placing them safely to one side. Remove the sealing cap from the vent and throw it away. Never replace this after the battery has been filled with electrolyte as it may cause the battery to rupture. Fill each cell with electrolyte to the fill level indicated on the battery case. Always wear protective eyewear and gloves when working with electrolyte. The electrolyte should have a specific gravity of 1.265 and be between 60 and 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Leave the battery for a minimum of 30 minutes, gently tapping occasionally to remove any bubbles trapped between the plates. If after 30 minutes the electrolyte level has fallen, top up to the upper fill level. Replace the filler caps loosely and begin to charge the battery at one-tenth its rated capacity for three to five hours. Charging at a higher rate could damage the battery. Do not connect or disconnect the charger to the battery while the charger is switched on, as this may cause sparks that could ignite the hydrogen gas emitted from the cells during charging. Monitor the electrolyte level during charging and top up to the fill line as necessary. When charging is complete, turn off the charger and disconnect it from the battery. Push or screw down the filler caps as appropriate, making sure not to over-tighten them and clean off any spilled electrolyte with a water and baking soda solution. Allow the battery to stand for at least 30 minutes, then load test it at three times its ampere hour rating for 15 seconds or use an automatic battery tester to determine the battery's condition and then check the voltage. This should be a minimum of 12.4 on a 12-volt battery. The battery is then ready to be fitted. If the voltage reading is below 12.4 volts or the battery fails the automatic battery test, loosen the filler caps and repeat the charging and test cycle. To charge a sealed battery, again place the battery on a level surface and remove the sealing tape covering the filler ports. Remove the electrolyte container from the box. Only use the container that comes with the battery as it contains the proper type and exact amount of electrolyte for this specific battery. Detach the cap strip from the container and put it to one side. 
This will be used to seal the battery when charging is complete. The electrolyte container is made up of individual cells, each sealed at the top. Place it upside down into the filler ports of the battery. Ensure it's level and push it down to break the seals on the cells. Air bubbles should be rising in each of the cells, indicating that the electrolyte is flowing into the battery. If there are no bubbles, tap the container a few times, being careful not to tilt or squeeze it, as this may cause the cells to fill unevenly. Keep the container in place for a minimum of 20 minutes. Once empty, carefully remove the container and let the battery sit for one hour. After an hour, loosely place the cap strip over the filling holes and charge the battery according to the instructions included with the battery. Once completed, push the cap strip down using firm pressure from both hands until it's fully flush with the top of the battery. Let the battery stand for at least 30 minutes, then load test it at three times its ampere hour rating for 15 seconds, or use an automatic battery tester to determine the battery's condition and check the voltage. This should be a minimum of 12.6 volts on a 12 volt battery. The battery is then ready to be fitted. If the voltage is less than 12.6 volts, or the battery fails the automatic battery test, repeat the charging cycle and retest the battery.